Hi, I'm Rustic Guy. Welcome to my channel. I am an unprofessional, unmonetized, chuckle fuck, just bumbling through life. I eat, I drink, and I try to be merry. Uh, this evening, a good friend of mine who is a uh, jet set and world traveler, he's affectionately known as Captain Cockbreath, he buys me. Uh, Really good beer from all over the world and uh, all over the country. He flies domestically and internationally. That's what he does. Captain Cockbreath. This is Horizon Budapest Morning Joe. It is a breakfast stout. It is 6% alcohol by volume. And I've never had this. I've had a couple of uh, hungry beers from Hungary, Budapest. Uh, and they've been pretty good. What caught me as I was reading this can, um, they they refer to it uh, in English. It's in many languages, but the I assume you cannot get this in the United States. Uh, I'm I'm assuming that, but I don't know that for a fact. Um, but they use the word reviving. It's a creamy, thick, reviving beer with uh, coffee. Obviously, Morning Joe. Um, so let's give this a try. I have give it a pour. I'm assuming it's going to be thick and dark, and I'm hoping a little sweeter than not sweet, but I don't think it will be. It's pouring. It's a, a medium brown. It's pouring pretty thin, but that's all right. It doesn't have to be thick. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's. Here's the beer. There's the can. Horizon Morning Joe. Um, oh, let's see. It's uh, six percent alcohol. Uh, da, 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 da. What does it say? A premium unfiltered beer with Eth Ethiopian coffee and cocoa beans. And then here. What it says in English is hearty and reviving. I've never heard a beer described as being reviving, but, uh, you know, that's just me. So let's give it the sniff test. I have an unrefined palate as well as an unrefined, uh, you know, stinker. My smeller here, my nose is not very refined. The doesn't take a lot. It is um, very, co the, the aroma is very coffee coffee forward it uh i don't really smell any of the cocoa um but it does smell like it will be a little bit sweet which is good i, li I like sweet over bitter um but who knows we're gonna find out right now so what's really nice i guess about this beer is um I don't know if it's the cocoa kind of calms down, tames down the coffee. It um, it smells more, the aroma has more of the coffee than the flavor. The fla It's very, it's not going to, it's not going to punch your tongue, your taste buds on your tongue with coffee. It, it's pretty, it's pretty smooth and mild. Definitely coffee, but it's not overpowering. It's not like all you all you taste is coffee. It's not sweet. And definitely the finish, as it warms, I put it in a frosted glass, which obviously, if you drink these beers, they're supposed to be a little bit warmer than cooler. It's a different flavor. I personally like them cold. I don't like starting them out too warm because then they get very warm before I finish it. So I'd rather have some of it too cold by typical standards and let it warm to the appropriate temperature because it really allows me to see the different flavor profiles as they uh, emerge from the warmer temperatures because it's absolutely true it happens. Uh, and it's just kind of, you know, interesting um, for me that way because there's been beers right into a cold glass they're not very good but give them 10 minutes to warm up and they're much better so it, it, it's true so that plays a role in everything that i'm saying of course because i have a frosted glass and the beer had just come out of the fridge is this my favorite beer no is it my least favorite beer no 
it's a baby beer, a 12 ouncer, which is okay. It's not a big pint, a 16 ouncer, little baby beer. Only 6%. So I'm not getting the rich, thick and creamy and the reviving. That's a good marketing ploy, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's not a bad beer. It's just for me it finishes just a little bit more bitter than i prefer and it seems as it's warming it's getting a little bit more bitter as we go which again it's not bad and if you like that kind of flavor profile you'll like this it's not a bad beer it's just a little bit uh more bitter than i prefer i don't want to stumble over my words too much um so rating this beer what would i rate this i mean it it's it's my style of beer. I like these dark. I like coffee beers. With some, I like chocolate. I like them more sweet. But because it's it, it's in a genre I like, I'm not I'm not I don't want to bash the beer because it's not bad. I'm gonna give it like a seven, a seven two, seven point two. It's it it it's it it's a good beer. It's just it's not perfect for me. I will drink this whole thing. Um, if I have another one, would I drink it? Yeah, but would I go out looking for it? No. But it's still a decent beer. Just, you know, I don't know. I don't want to bash it too much because it's not, the beer is not good. It's just not to my exact likings. But that's what I do. This is me. I'm Rustic Guy. I don't have a refined palate. Just having a good time drinking beer, trying to share it. So if you do get the opportunity to uh, try it, I think it's worth trying. It is certainly not a bad beer. I do appreciate you watching this whole painful, painfully long video. Uh, please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive and uh, enjoy a good beer. Cheers.